Now as a Glidecam operator, one of the main things you want to keep in mind is that every single time you set up this kit, every single time you pick up this kit, now even after moving it around or just putting it there and then reattaching your camera, now you want to do fine tuning every single time before you start using it. Because every single time, the balance will be off by that little bit amount. So every time you pick it up, the balance will be so slightly off. Now it might be noticeable, it might not be too noticeable, but it still wouldn't hurt to take two minutes, check your drop time, check your balance, check your horizontal balance, your vertical balance, and do a bit of fine tuning. So remember, every single time you pick this up and you're ready to use it, stop for a while and do some balancing. Now, to hold the glide cam, basically, you use your right hand or your left hand, uh, depending on which one is more um, suitable for you. If you're left-handed, I would recommend using your left hand to hold the handle, but still, right hand on the handle, and you use your left hand to hold the glide cam like so. Now your right hand supports the glide cam and your left hand steers the glide cam. So your index finger should be just above the gimbal like so and your thumb and middle finger should be positioned just below the gimbal and your remaining two fingers you just rest them below your middle finger. So again index finger top remaining fingers below the gimbal. Alright so when you want to start using the glide cam. Basically, again, your right hand is the main support for the glide cam and your left hand should be just delicately resting in the grip position. So when I want to steer the glide cam, I want to turn it towards this side, I just give it a simple light push, a nudge, and the glide cam will start going to this side. And if I want it to go to that side, I just use my fingers to push the shaft towards the right side. So. It should be nice and gentle, it shouldn't be jerky, it should be nice, smooth and natural. So, to tilt the glide cam, I also use this grip. So, to tilt it upwards, I just push my thumb forwards and the glide cam goes upwards. And if I were to tilt it downwards, I just push it downwards with my middle finger, ring finger and pinky, and it tilts downwards. So with this grip, I am able to turn it sideways upwards and downwards. So this is the best grip for glide camming. So as far as I know, this grip also induces the less amount of shock to your glide cam compared to let's say gripping it down here with a nice firm fist or gripping it down here. So gripping it here allows you to have the most amount of control and the most amount of stability with your glide cam. So moving with the glide cam is pretty simple, you just hold it in this grip and you move around like normal but slightly more careful. So it also helps to take nice light steps while moving around with the glide cam. So again, you don't jump about too much. So your shot is as smooth as possible. Now there are a huge variety of shots you can accomplish with the glide cam. So basically, you have the simple old tracking shots where you just walk around with the glide cam but with the ability to tilt the glide cam very nice and smoothly, you can also do pan around shots that allow you to pan around a subject. Now it takes some practice, practice makes perfect on the glide cam. So my recommendation is if you're new to glide camming, set it up, balance it, and just fly it around anywhere you can find. Now do lots of practice with it, do lots of shots with it, and eventually you get better and better. So it's like riding a bike. Now there are many many shots you can think up of using a glide cam. Basically, you can run around with it, you can jump with it, all with some amazingly smooth shots. So get some time, play around with it, and you'll discover a lot more about the glide cam. So my training guide here is only scratching the surface and giving you a brief guidance on how to set up and get your glide cam running. So the rest of it is completely up to you, how you want to use it, what kind of shots you want to get with it. It's up to you, your creativity. So get out there and take a few runs with your glide cam. Thank you very much for watching. I hope my guide has been of help. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any comments, comment them below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.